Today, let's take a look at a cocktail that we all need to take a moment to appreciate and thank for. Because without it, we wouldn't have one of my favorite style of tropical drinks, the punch. Hey folks, today we're making the planter's punch. It's a delicious tiki cocktail created by Don the Beachcomber. The recipe I'm making today is adapted by Jeff Beachbum Berry. It's the ultimate summer drink, full with beach, punch, and rum. But seriously, this is a cocktail that everybody should know because it gives you the foundation on making punch. Let's get behind the stick. Before we make the drink, let's talk about punch in general. Just for a second, in order for a drink to be a punch, it must consist of spirit, sugar, water, and spice. And no, it doesn't have to be served out of a bowl or a fountain. Although the idea of a fountain filled with rum, it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> punch has been around for a long time, way longer than any of us. According to Martin and Rebecca Kate in their book Smuggler's Cove, they mentioned that there's a punch reference in Barbados back in 1694. In the Caribbean, punch was a drink that was enjoyed by plantation owners, also known as planters. You get it? Planters, planters, punch. Planters punch is linked to Jamaica in the 1920s, which most likely tiki legend Don the Beachcomber had it for the first time and from there on, he made many variations. Let's make one right now. Let's build this drink in a shaker. First, add your spice, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Now, let's add some lime juice. This recipe called for half an ounce, but I know I would want a bit more than that. So I went with one ounce or 30 mils instead. As for your sweeteners, we're gonna use a few. Half an ounce or 15 mils of simple syrup, and half a teaspoon or 2.5 mils of house-made grenadine. Then, some falernum. Velvet falernum is a product from Barbados. This is more of a syrup than a liqueur. It's flavored with lime, almond, and cloves. This ingredient is used in many classic Caribbean-style cocktails. We're using half a teaspoon or 2.5 mils. As for the strong, we're gonna use a blend of three rums. First, half an ounce or 15 mils of Appleton Estate Blend. Then half an ounce or 15 mils of Hamilton Pastel Black. And finally, one ounce or 30 mils of Gold Caribbean Rum. I'm using Don Q Gold. According to Beach Bumberry, this is the classic 1937 original recipe by Don the Beachcomber. And that Don had five different versions of the planter's punch on his 1930s bar menu. This recipe is closest to the old Jamaican proportions, but dimensionalizes the sweet and the strong with multiple syrups and rums. Back then, they would flash blend their cheeky drinks with crushed ice, but I'm simply gonna whip shake this with a bit of crushed ice. Once done shaking, I'm gonna dump it straight in the chilled highball glass filled with crushed dice. After that, top it off with more crushed dice, place a straw, and as for the garnish, I'm gonna go with some mint, because you can't go wrong with mint. And that's the 1937 Planter's Punch. Cheers. I'm ready for this one. Oh my God, that's delicious. This is very well balanced. The mint adds a nice freshness. It plays perfectly with the citrus and you get a big punch of the rums at the end. No pun intended. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all the next one. Cheers. Punch was a drink that was enjoyed by plantation planters. Plantation. <laughs> also known as planters. Why am I saying planters? Also known as planters. Tiki cocktail created by Den. Den? Den?